Mr. Keith Della, 40 years on since that famous moment. Walking back into the venue, what's it like to be back here? I'm really looking forward to it. I think um, when COVID come, I was practicing so much, and last year, Jesus, I was just trying. I was practicing non-stop. I got too much involved with it, and now we're starting to sort of play exhibitions, and they've been going good, and I feel a lot more relaxed. Feel that I'm just going to enjoy it. I mean, I'm playing a good player, but I've played good players all over the years, so that doesn't really matter too much. But you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, my best mate, Russ Bray, he's my wingman. He, he, he you know, was, was come for the as long as I get on, however I do, uh, and come to support me, and he's been a great mate. So, yeah, it's uh, I'm looking forward to it. Talk about preparation with a lot of the players going into these games. Some will have thrown a lot of darts in preparation, some not so much. What's it, what's it been like for you? Well, I've been on a Caribbean cruise, so that's a nice way. Uh, but, I mean, I've been back two weeks, and I've, you know, I've been practising well, but not getting it too regimental I'll do two two and a half and throw them well just that's good enough you don't need you know you're playing all right so I've just really got um, a more relaxed mindset this time I mean look they're all good dart players and someone has to lose someone has to win so that's uh, I'm going really more of that mindset on this tournament where I haven't got nothing to prove uh, you know and uh, I think some of the others who, who, are in the, who are in the tournament they haven't really done anything big it's more they got more to prove. I, got, you know, I got nothing to lose, really. Did you feel like you maybe put too much pressure on yourself last year to win, and going in with more relaxed mindset may help you this year? Exactly. I mean, I'll still be nervous. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think I'll be. It's not life or death anymore. It's to me. It's you know, this year I've got a lot of good stuff happening. Big, some big promotions coming on. Look out. Watch my Twitter. There are going to be some big, big nights with the big boys, and I'm just really looking forward to. As like Russ would tell you, just, pl just play me darts. You know, if I play like I do when I do exhibitions with him, you know, I can... I mean, I've already been written off by all the experts, so, you know, fair enough, that's their opinion. I don't mind that. It's, you know, I'm playing a good dart player, but I'm playing a dart player that I could beat anyway. So if I win, fair enough. I don't shake hands and fight another day. <laughs> What do you know about Mike? Because we've seen him on things like the Super Series, he's obviously played in Q School, but in terms of big stage experience, he hasn't got anywhere near the comparison what you've got. So what do you know about Mike going into this? Not really a lot. I mean, I know he played Mo, I know he went to tour school, nearly got through, but didn't get through. I mean, not, no disrespects. The best players are, are, are playing in tour school. They're playing in the main, sorry, they're playing in the main tour. So, you know, I mean, he's going to be maybe more competitive to me, but... I've got 40 years of being competitive. It's, I don't think it makes a lot of difference personally. Maybe it does. We'd never know. But, uh, you know, I just think that I shall prepare right. I shall practice well. And, um, you know, and you, all you can do is give it your best. Sometimes you... I played in... Look, when I won the world title, I, I should have lost... I was supposed to lose three or four games. But I didn't think that way. I just think, just give it a go. And, and that's all I'm doing, really. Tell us what you've got coming up in the next few months and I'm sure you'll be busy on the exhibition circuit and I'm sure there'll be plenty coming up in the future. Yeah, we're doing some nights uh, with Bill Everidge in the Midlands. I've got some really good nights coming up there. Uh, I've just been negotiating with another company, uh, Promotions, and uh, they're going to be some big nights and uh, some guys, Nathan Aspinall, Josh Rock, Dimitri, all them boys are going to be playing and they're going to be really good nights. And I like playing with them. They're all good lads and they're all brilliant dark players and you know, it's nice. You're going to get a, an audience where you're going to get the older generation will, will be pleased to see me because they'll remember me, even though they're watching the main boys now. But they'll have really good memories of what I've done. And then you've got the boys that, you know, I mean, hopefully Dave Chisnell. I want to get involved because I love Chizzy. I think he's one of the nicest guys. And uh, you know, it's going to be some good good shows coming this year. And uh, why not? And it's just nice to be part of them. You know. But I don't mind playing with someone. If they ain't been world champion, I can keep saying, have you won the world title yet? <laughs> yeah, but it's all, all good fun. All good fun. Lovely, Keith. Well, best of luck this afternoon, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you.